The Licensing Expo 2017 was held in Las Vegas from Tuesday to Thursday. It was a meeting place for the global licensing industry to spot trends, build strategic partnerships, and secure the rights of brands or products. More than 35 years, the Licensing Expo has connected the world's most influential entertainment, character, fashion, art, and corporate brand owners and agents with consumer goods manufacturers, licensees, and retailers. And it is the second year that Chinese brands join the Expo to showcase their products and ideas. Young people today can enjoy it, can、uh, can access it easily, can really see what the history of China is like, and also not just the Chinese people, but but the whole world. You know, again, China's got such a, a wonderful history, and the artwork is fabulous. And I think now using modern techniques to share it with the world is is really something that that benefits everybody. The Chinese brands here will find some、uh, manufacturing partners and some retail partners, so that they can expand their product. Offering to the wider global community. More than 5,000 brands from consumer goods and lifestyle categories across the world brought millions of products to this year's expo to seek partners to expand and transform their business. Chinese brands were making strong efforts to strengthen recognition in the international market. We should figure out how to make Chinese elements well accepted by Westerners. Though our products are delicate and unique, we still need more time to communicate with the global market. We need to introduce ourselves to the world. This could be the biggest challenge. The Western designs are more creative and closer to people's daily life. They usually go wider in imagination. But as a national museum, the Palace Museum focuses more on spreading the culture and making products full of knowledge and artistic value. While Western brands focus more on interest and creative. 关注的是趣味性，呃，跟生活性。